Hey guys, Ali here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a really cool joint in Bradford. Cannot tell you how excited I am to finally come to Bradford. It's such a foodie city. It's been on my list for ages. So super hyped, super excited to actually get my Bradford playlist started. Very excited to be here. First place I'm gonna show you from my long old list is actually gonna be somewhere that might surprise you a little bit. So whenever I'm on holiday, and I kind of feel like I'm on holiday right now, whenever I'm on holiday, I always seem to find myself in a halal McDonald's. That just seems to happen. I don't know how it happens. It just seems to happen. Now, I asked a load of people on my Instagram to give me suggestions of where I should go and Mahmood's came up a lot. Now, I know Mahmood's are not quite a McDonald's. I do realize they have a different and unique menu. However, some of the items have got a little bit of a McDonald's-y air about them. So I thought I'd actually start there. But anyway, I'm going to make my way to Mahmood's now. I've got quite a few places lined up actually. I think I'm going to do five places today. Mahmood's is going to be the first one. Really excited to get cracking oh if you can just about see behind me there's a place that red one frankie's i've had that suggested to me many times on instagram as well so i might i might pop in there but let's start the video for my moods i'm really excited to try these guys it's going to be my first spot so yeah let's get cracking with this review all right guys we are here so yeah let's go inside Let's see what the menu is saying. Okay guys, so I'm inside. I've had a quick look at the menu. I think what I'll do is I'll actually get a few bits and bobs from each part of the menu so you have a proper full menu breakdown. I can't lie though, I am in proper hype mode. I'm really excited. I'm in holiday mode, but I'm going to put like the independent reviewer hat back on, uh, but I'm very excited. I am pure hype. I can't wait to start this review. I've placed my order and the food should be coming any second now. As a quick aside, actually, it looks pretty nice in here. I think they've got a lot of seating. I think if you were to come with your family, I think this is a good kind of environment to be in. There's a ton of seating, lots of natural light. It just looks fun, it looks pretty cool, uh, but let's keep it real. I'm not here to review the inside, I'm here to review the food, but I just want to throw that in there because it, there's a lot of space in here, it looks nice. Okay, so a lot of the food is actually here. I've got, still got a couple of bits coming, but we've got like some of their signature stuff like the drip burger. Ooh. Quite a big portion of chips there. We've got uh, some wings, these are mango and lime. We've got some mozzarella sticks and we've got a couple of strips. The strips are normally in a portion of four, but saving the calories, that's why I've got a zero calorie drink. <laughs> saving the calories, so I've gone for just two when they normally come in a portion of four. We've also got a couple of other bits coming as well. Okay, so the rest of the food is here now. I've got a uh, pretty awesome looking pizza. I've got something really unique as a garlic bread with a good twist to it, which I'm gonna go over in a second, so stick around for that. We've got uh, some some fried chicken as well and I didn't mention before but this really cool looking drink again I've not been here before I've not tried any of this food so it will be a pretty much a first time trying on everything so I don't know what to start with first there's so much delicious food in front of me I wish you guys could actually smell it and sort of look at it it looks awesome I think I'll start with starters and they've got something a little bit different a little bit unique I'm liking the look of this this is a mango lime wing and it's a good portion size. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, is that six? There's six wings there. These look really good. Let me try these first. As you can see there, guys, coated really, really well. They look quite wet. They look quite sticky. They look, they look tasty. They smell really good as well. They've got a really strong aroma to them. Wings are packed full of flavor. You get a proper punch of flavor when you eat them. I like the crispiness around them as well. Nice and tender. Really, really good start. A little bit of sweetness, but actually a little bit of spice as well, so the flavors are well balanced. What I'm gonna do, guys, I was gonna do the rest of the starts, which I will do. I'm not gonna skip the starts, I love my starts, but the big drip burger is looking at me. It's just looking at me. It looks really good. I wanna show this to you guys first. As you can imagine, what I think is sort of inspired by a Big Mac. However, right, this is important. I think they've taken to the next level, and I'll tell you why. You know, Big Mac is like, whenever I've had it abroad, it's like bread, it's like a, a patty with, I think, a piece of bread in the middle, a patty and a piece of bread, right? So there's like three, essentially, doughy components to that. Here, however, what they've done is now, nah, let's just have three patties and skip the middle bread bit. So I'm hoping the bread to meat ratio is much better than a Big Mac. And it looks super cheesy as well. So let's give this a crack. The patties are actually really juicy, really flavorful. It's a good amount of cheese to that as well. That is so much better than I thought it was. It's so much better than a Big Mac, honestly. Absolutely delicious. I've had this for the first time today. This is my first time trying it. This is absolutely phenomenal. And good price point on this as well. I'm gonna put all of the details of everything I have 
in the description. I'll put the details of my moods and their branches in the description if you want to check them out yourself. But priced really well and actually delicious. Yeah, I had to have that big drip burger first. Honestly, it was looking at me delicious. I'm loving the patties on those. But let's now move on to, do you know what, right? They've got something which I've never, ever seen before. This is the first time I've seen a piece of garlic bread, right? With a bit of, it's like, imagine a pizza garlic bread, which in itself is, is quite unique. A bit of tomato sauce, some cheese. But what they've done is they've actually put some Donner on there for me. And what you can get is, is a topping of your choice. However, I think Donner sounds really interesting. It's a little bit of a fusion type dish. It sounds really good. It smells really garlic. It smells nice. It tastes how you think it would. Really garlicky, really meaty, cheesy, saucy. Very indulgent. There's a big portion there as well. That is getting a hay man. That's absolutely delicious. Again, I did not expect that. It's times like this where, honestly, I wish I could have you guys sort of sit next to me so you can smell the food. Uh, also, ton of calories going on, so I thought a zero calorie Pepsi Max would make all the difference. Right, let's go back to the starters. And also, they've got uh, their Mahmood's burger sauce. Again, obviously, I've never had anything here, so. The mozzarella is actually quite gooey. Often, you get mozzarella sticks, and they're just, like, hard in the middle, which ruins them. That's actually pretty gooey, and the sauce is nice, too. We will have uh, some fried chicken. We've got a meat feast pizza with Donna meat on it, which looks really good. We've got a wrap, actually, which, to be honest, packaging absolutely on point. I'm impressed with these guys. This is the first place I've eaten in Bradford. And I'm super impressed so far. Let's now go for, do you know what? Let's do the wrap actually. Um, let's go for the wrap. Again, like in the actual presentation, this is a Donna wrap, um, as you can see on the back there. It's got a little list of the wraps they have and Donna is marked. So let's try this. How do I do this? Ah, yeah, okay, what? Huh? Ah, there we go. Do you know it's remarkably simple, but it's surprising how hard I made that. Piping hot, it's actually super, super hot. Was I supposed to take it out of the box? I don't know. I think I am. Am I? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just too excited. I'm too hype. I'm going to go for it. Ooh, hello. Hello. Oh, there is a good amount of donut. I don't think my camera is going to really pick that up because it's going to autofocus to my face. But if you guys can see that wrap there, it's got a ton of meat actually inside it, which is pretty cool. I've seen Donna burgers, I've seen Donna kebabs, obviously. I don't think I've seen a Donna wrap before. Let's try that. I'm liking the Donna meat, I'm liking the wrap. What I think would be nice if they actually add a bunch of onions, red onions in there to add a little bit of crunch, a little bit of acidity, a little bit, just texturally, a crunch and a bit of acidity, I think would be nice with that because wrap super soft. The meat is actually really tender, really soft. Flavoured, really a good amount of spice to it as well. Some onions in there, Oof, that'll take it to the next level for sure. There's other food items to go. However, I want to try this quickly just because it looks really good. Um, it's quite warm today and this should go down a treat. This has got, I believe, some lime flavour, some strawberry flavour. And there's another flavour which is escaping me right now. But this is one of their fizzy drinks. Um, I think it's F-I-Z-Z-E-E. -Z -Z -E. I thought it downstairs. I thought, not again, not seen that before. So if it's new, it's different, I'm going to try it. That is basically, do you guys remember Slush Puppy? That's basically a slush puppy, but a lot bigger and a lot nicer because slush puppies just essentially had large pieces of ice in them, like chunks of ice. This is like a blended ice. On a summer's day, that'd be absolutely delicious. So a lot of the times what I'll do is I'll go into somewhere like completely cold. So sometimes I don't like looking at the menu. I don't like looking at the Insta just because uh, I don't want other people's opinions to kind of um, make me less impartial. So I don't want someone else's opinions to get in my head, listen to everyone's opinions, and then go in and kind of parrot that. So I actually didn't know about half the menu here, if I'm being honest with you. It's a lot wider than I expected, and it is so much better than McDonald's. In my head, I feel bad for calling it like a McDonald's-y type place, because it kind of isn't. They have the Big Drip Burger, which is so different to a Big Mac, a lot better. And they've got a ton of other really tasty items as well. That being said, let's compare the chips to McDonald's chips. <laughs> I think these guys have been operational for 20 years and I can see why the chips are really good. This place is, is just really good all round, man, I have to say. Moving on now to the pizza, because who doesn't like... See, can you get a Donna pizza from McDonald's? I don't think so. I don't think so. I want something to be average here so I can call it average so it makes it seem like I'm being impartial because I genuinely am. That is a delicious pizza. This is the meat feast. It's got some chicken on there, some donna on there, some peppers on there. This is an absolutely delicious pizza. I would happily, if I was in the area in Bradford, I would happily get that again. Bradford, man. 
You're blowing me away. Cheesy and just meaty, and I like the base. That's just a solid, solid pizza. Let's move on now, actually, to uh, the fried chicken. I've got three pieces in here. Let's uh, give them a go. What do is actually dip the fried chicken in this curry sauce that they have. Let's, let's try the curry sauce. You guys can see that there, just so I don't want to tip it too much because it's quite runny, so it'll actually fall out the pot. It's less of a dip and more of a sauce, so it is, it is pretty runny. Curry sauce. Absolutely delicious. Chicken, perfectly serviceable. Absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. I don't think the chicken is gonna blow you away, actually. The rest of the items are fantastic. Uh, but the curry sauce, delicious. Chicken, perfectly serviceable. These chips are just so Moorish. To be honest with you, I'm just telling myself I'm gonna fatten myself up because Ramadan's coming, I'm gonna lose a load of weight. So that, that's the excuse I'm giving myself. Let's try actually the curry sauce again, because it's really nice, but with the strips. These strips are pretty meaty, actually. Again, I think maybe when I came in, because I hadn't done that much research on this place, I might have done it a bit of a disservice in the sense that, I don't know, I've been to McDonald's abroad, like the UAE, places like that, and I, I've not completely loved them, and that's what I had in my head, you know, that's what I had, but honestly, that's just, that's a really chunky piece of meat, that's a lot bigger than what you'd get at McDonald's. That comparison, I think, was probably a little bit unfair, so let's try this. I don't know why I left that to last because that's probably one of the best chicken tenders I have ever had. Hey man, definitely get a hey man. That is absolutely delicious. It's really meaty. Let me show you another one. It's really meaty, right? The actual batter is seasoned perfectly. It's got a nice crunch to it, but it's not overcooked, so it's not hard. The crunch is there, the, the good texture of that crunch, but the meat itself is actually super, super soft as well. That guys gets a hey man, phenomenal. I am really enjoying the strips. Oh, I wish I got a full portion now, not just two. <laughs> so off to my next place in Bradford now. I'm gonna edit that up and put it up on the channel in the next couple of days. So if you wanna see that, just subscribe. You'll be notified of that. But Mahmood, super, super impressed. Much wider menu than I thought they would have. Somewhere that I would happily take like my family, like nieces, nephews, things of that nature. Yeah, like I said, I, I expected a good burger, but they've got a lot of good stuff there. The Donner's awesome. The wings are tasty. They've just got a lot going on. So super impressed with my first place in Bradford. So that was the first on the list, but I've got a massive list to go through guys. So I'm actually off to my next place now. That being said, if there are any other places that you want me to review, please put them in the comments below. I read every single comment. And frankly, it just helps me out because I don't know Bradford that well, but I want to get to know much better. So if there's somewhere that I should definitely review in Bradford, put it in the comments below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. There should be another video on the screen if you want to see more. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff guys. And I'll see you in the next video video. Ba 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 ba.